Welcome to Verbal Pig Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. Uh, as I promised, I'd give you all a, an update and a discussion on are we headed to war with Iran? And when I thought about different interviews, I was thinking, wow, who can I bring on the show? And discuss a possible theater of war other than one who creates theater at for, at, in the form of movies or web series, and that's none other than Marcus Mudd with A-Tone Productions. Uh, under his belt, you have Hoodlum of the Opera, Slice of Cake, you have The Blade, uh, remix uh, and, 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 and various other uh, shows he works on. The um, the fashion show. What is the fashion show title, Brother Morgan? Uh, the one coming or the one that we were working on? The one you're working on. Oh, we're working on Clickish. Yeah, Clickish. The one with Clickish. Uh, and, that one, and, and you just heard his voice, so let me get a proper introduction. Marcus Moore, welcome to the show. Salam, what's going on? Like Salam, brother. Uh, definitely. Um, so, you know, because sometimes life imitates art and sometimes art imitates life. And uh, one, I like to say that I didn't see it. You know, uh, one week we were talking about impeachment. And usually when, when we go into war, there's usually you can you can kind of feel it and, and there's a lot of things escalating and it slowly leads up to it and then you know the people are like okay we understand that it's going on but 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 for some reason this particular situation it seemed like it just happened all of a sudden or has it been building up in your opinion? I think it's been building up, bro, since. It- the guy tore up the Iran nuclear deal. Right. It's been escalating since then with uh, attacks on military bases and attacks on embassies, the killing of the uh, American contractor, and uh, now the killing of the second in command in Iran. It's been kind of building up. It's, you know, you got hot buttons out there, and uh, that was just the one he chose to push. Right when they killed uh, Soleimani. Uh, But the the thing about it now, people are saying, look, Iran just stated that, look, leave it at that. You kill Soleimani, we drop uh, rocket attacks uh, on on the Air Force base outside in Iraq, and it should be left at that uh, with no retaliation if they want to de-escalate. Do you think Trump will leave it at that, or will he now will he retaliate since those rockets has been launched at the uh, air base on American soldiers? Well, who knows? You know, I can have my opinion, but uh, I wouldn't bet on anybody's opinion when you're talking about Donald Trump. Right. I mean, he wasn't even supposed to win his election, you know. He, you know, who even knew he was going to run for president? And ever since then, it's been one thing after the other. It's just been keeping everybody on edge, wondering what is this dude doing? What is he saying? Where is he coming from? This, that, and the other. So, now, I, I, on this right here, who knows, bro? You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. In my opinion, uh-huh. I, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll give my opinion on it. Yeah, he's going to do something else. Uh-huh. I mean... This is a man that's in his 70s that has never been held accountable for anything that he's done in his life. Right. Right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? Right. He said he can stand on Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody in the head yeah. and get away with it. Yeah. And that was before he was elected. Yeah. Then he was elected. That's right. So you're talking about a man with murder on his mind, right? Right. That sounds like a murderer to me. I'm going to shoot somebody in the head. Where right. you even get the thought from? Right. Where did that come from? Right. It comes from somebody that wants to kill another person, and mm-hmm. we don't know what the reason is. But he want to do it in broad daylight, and he wants everybody to just let him let him make it. Right. Sounds and like a murderer. That's a murderer. But his base, his base supports him and backs him, though. 
He right. they, that's where he draws his strength from. Correct. And so everybody else enables the guy. Right. In this party in Congress, whoever in in the certain seats, they will let him uh he can have a pass. They do so because of his constituents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so I wonder how many of these constituents are going to suit up and go on the battlefield. Right. See, it, when, you know, when he starts shipping bars out. That's right. Yeah, yeah you, you hoorahing, hoorah, hoorah. But now, now we at the brink of war. Are you ready to strap up and get on the plane and head on over to Iraq? Because America. And put your did. life on your word. That's right. No. America's war weary, you know that that whole Iraqi war, people was exhausted, right? And you know, Iran. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, bro. No, I'm about saying Iran's military is not like Iraq. It's not like the Iraqi military. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it, it, it's a formidable opponent, I right. should say. So, uh. Now he stated that Trump stated that if there were any uh, retaliations against the general uh, Soleimani being killed, that he'd hit fifty-two cultural sites. Uh, I believe in in in, in Iraq or Iran. Right. I mean Iran, and uh, they said that by uh, the Geneva Convention or by the, the the war rules of engagement of war is you can only hit uh, historical sites if you're being fired upon, right? Right. But I'm thinking Trump made that statement because today he, he, he walked down this statement, but it's showing that he didn't have knowledge of foreign, on how foreign policy go or war structure because he stated that but without knowing that you can't just attack cultural sites unless he's saying the hell with the rules of engagement, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, then. So, because where did he even get the thought from? Right. How did he get How did he get it narrowed all the way down to a cultural site in these people's country? He could have said anything. Right. Where did he even... That, that's a sophisticated thought. Right. See, that's... that's I watch I watch the news and I see how they just every time they can't explain him, they just say, "Well, he just don't know. He don't understand. He he's not sophisticated. He's an idiot. He's a moron." So on and so forth. But you got to think about the process that it would take for him to even think about something like that. Right. Why are you talking about these people's cultural centers and mm-hmm. listen to the words he used? He ain't mm-hmm. saying I'm gonna. Knock your statue down. Right. He said their cultural set. You know, he got real, you know, sophisticated language with this. You know what I mean? Yes, he, he walked it back. But where do you even get the thought from? Right. And if I walked up in a store and I say, man, look, I'm just going to start tearing y'all. I'm just going to start tearing you up right now. Right. You won't see me for a few years. I'll be in jail. If you do something like destroy a foreign country's cultural centers, that is a war crime. Why? Right. You don't have to do it. You can just walk up in the store and say, I'm going to tear this motherfucker up, right? Right. Yeah, and right. what's going to happen? You out of there. You, right. So why would he say something like, what, is it, you saying that's strategic? Why would he even, why would he even say something like that? I mean, he. I don't. I don't. I don't even believe it was his idea to, to kill Solomon in the first place. I don't believe that. Right. I don't think you know. I'm, I'm, I'm on the wagon with he ain't smart enough when it comes to stuff like that. Right. And I'm on the wagon with he ain't smart enough when it comes to let's blow up their cultural centers. Right. He ain't smart enough for that. He don't know nothing about that stuff. Right. That's right. You know so. Somebody else is driving this thing. Right. Is what I'm trying to say. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. 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 Somebody that is smart enough to think about stuff like that is driving this train. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess that's why he was trying to prepare the people by stating that this was all fake news, but it's real. Unless he was trying to send code saying, look, man, I'm this not me. Somebody else driving it is fake. But, you know, oh, I didn't even say that. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, you know, me meaning that was his phrase uh, uh, months back uh, since he got into office. He would say when they when they would uh, say something about it, he would call it fake news. Yeah, it's, it's fake news. It's fake news. He would call things fake news. You know what they're what they're producing from CNN to MSNBC. Right. He'd call it fake news and whatnot. But are you are you subtly uh, sending a message out there in code or something? You know that that what 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 we're looking at. You know, hey, it's all staged or set up, or is it real or? Uh, are they, or, 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 or is he creating an atmosphere for conspiracy theory? Uh, I mean, it's, it's I don't. yeah, it's, it's it's crazy out there because just last week I'm watching the I'm watching the attacks on the Jews from New York, Chicago, California, and they did that march this weekend, and they were stating that you know, hey, we got pepper spray, we're gonna fight back, we not taking, we not we not taking this right on one uh-huh. front. Then you got the earthquakes in uh, Puerto Rico. You got the fires in Australia, which I just did a show on the Tasmanian people who, the when the English came first came into Australia, the Tasmanian people were there, and they killed all they killed millions of them and took that land. Same thing they did here in America. You got uh, so many different conflicts and. Fights and black folks, we still talking about no justice, no peace. Now, on top of that, you throw in a war with Iran, and all of this happened within a yeah, short time of Trump's presidency. All right. And so, when you say, wow, uh, someone's driving the boat, what were, were they driving the boat to? You know? What? Follow the money. I saw an article that, that stated that Iran just came up on a uh, on an oil field, <laughs> a massive oil field that they didn't know they had just mm-hmm. before all this went down. If you want to follow the money, that could have something to do with it. Or mm-hmm. we can just say, hey, these are just the signs. These are just the times that we're living in. Mm-hmm. It got to come to a head. Right. It, it just can't be a cold war here, a cold war there, you know, an attack over here, an attack over there, wars and rumors of wars. Right. This is a real war already. That's right. That's right. I mean, you got people marching in the streets over there, burning flags, uh, vowing re- revenge, and the marchers dying because it's a stampede. Right. It's just chaotic, you know? It's chaotic. It, I know when I saw that, I'm like... <laughs> You, it, it, I mean, it was crazy. And I, I, no, yeah. I'm not making light of the situation, but yeah, you vowing revenge and y'all stampede over each other and kill about 40 people. Yeah. And the war haven't even started yet. Right. But then later that, on. That's, that's, more, that's more people dead right there than before the war. I mean, then, then, the, then the missile strikes, because they, they, that's supposed to kill 30 uh, military service men and women. And the missile strike. See now, this this latest one here. Okay, but with that, okay now we we appreciate that update. The late the latest update I got was President Trump stated that he wasn't going to give any of his comment tonight on what's going on. He wasn't going to come. He said he wasn't. We wasn't going to come and address the American people on this current situation. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you know somebody driving that train because Donald Trump gonna say it. He gonna tweet it. He, you know, he gonna walk out on the lawn and, and sit yeah. in front of the helicopter. We all know Trump by now. That's right. Now he quiet. Where well, you quiet? You're right. Now you you haven't been quiet about anything. Right. You know. Now you quiet. But you don't see any effects for his mistakes and, and, and the things that he do. You know. So it ain't it ain't him saying I ain't gonna say nothing. That's right. The, the, the latest was. If the strikes, if the strikes hit near the base, but there was no casualties, then supposedly they were trying to 
get America not to retaliate and we didn't just leave it at that. But if the strikes hit and you saying 30, if they reported 30 uh, U.S. soldiers were killed during the strikes, then it's most likely it's on. Yeah, I think it's on anyway, you know. This is this is an impulsive person that has that type of uh, executive power behind it. And, you know, people want things, and he's in trouble. That's why you have a, a national security clearance that you don't hire people that have trouble because somebody can w w uh, come along and offer that person a way out mm -hmm. and all you have to do is this for me mm -hmm. now now i'm gonna ask you this you don't have to this is just something that uh because you know this this verbal pick radio and we do we do everything entirely totally different on this show right mm. and 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 this is a freestyle um mm -hmm. you being a director producer how would you if you were uh, writing the script to this right mm. how would you and, and wait wait and think about this though reason why I'm asking well, I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking you this is because the listeners to Verbal Pick Radio, I, I want to put it in a way to where they uh, won't be afraid. Because at, at the present moment, a lot of people, man, on edge, they anticipate, they panic, and they wonder what's going on. Some people are afraid. And a lot, and, and you know, reason being is, if, if you have knowledge of self or knowledge of who you are, you understand, you don't fear anything, and you you you, you be steadfast in the face of danger or in the face of things that you, you don't know uh, what it could possibly bring. So, and I want to ease the listeners, you know, cause you got, you got mothers listening to the show, young folks listening to the show and just so they can, you know, stay, um, keep the spirits high. Right. Mm -hmm. And so by being a director, how could you, uh, predict the right uh, exit strategy uh, and, 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 and it's no it's, it's no set way you know it could be you know because the director you can write an ending where you know in the end the, the, the boy gets the girl or in the end it's a, apocalyptic type destruction chaos or whatever but how would you write an exit strategy for this war meaning what, what would be the end results if you was directing this uh, as if you was uh, uh, wagging a dog. Well, I would have uh, one of the top officials to approach Trump and say, "Hey, man, your brand ain't gonna be shit after this." And it just light a bell. And it just turn a light on in his head. Right. Like, damn, this can't happen. Right. Yeah. I have to do something to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or else. You saying your his legacy will be will be would be to pieces. Huh? You saying his legacy would be to pieces. Yeah. His his you know, he got golf courses and hotels and shit all over the place. That's all they care about. Mm. Is his own is the self. So you got to appeal to him <laughs> the person where he is. Look, right. man, you ain't gonna have shit after this all over with. <laughs> right. You know, win or lose. Nobody's going to want to deal with whatever says Trump. And, you know, then you go get quiet and start listening to reason, at least for temporary, just to get us out of there, out of the mess he in, you know. Come on. That's right. Uh, That's right. And then, you know, I got a sequel, but I'm not going to talk about the sequel. Right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Because, that's right. Yeah, because I'm telling you, your insight, your insight uh, to this uh, is great. You know, I, I love to read the script uh, uh, on uh, for what you write because this would be a uh, um, not not a document, but it'd be a true story because this is a uh -huh. true story. It's a true story. We live. 
we live we actually this week this is history in the making and 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 i'm 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 blessed uh to share this stage with you right now and at this moment in time in this moment in history this is being recorded bro right? this yes, is this will be played throughout the years right here uh you heard it first right here on verbal peak radio um right yeah this is we 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 living through uh a possibly world war 3 Right. China, North Korea could jump in this thing. Russia could jump in this thing. Oh, they already doing military exercises together. Together. Israel, then Israel can jump into this thing. They already in it. But they do it how they do it. They quiet. <laughs> yeah. You know, they've been in it. They probably, you know, hey, yeah. Israel doing Israel. You <laughs> feel me? That's right. That's right. They, they going to do what they've been doing. I mean, it's all the players in. Yeah. This is it. So now, uh, now this is the hardest. This, now this is a hard question here, though, brother Mark. Because I mentioned it earlier when I did the first update, uh, dealing with, with 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 black people. You know, it's hard. T, we should have straightened out the no justice, no peace, the police murdering of young black men years ago. Should have ironed uh, that out because it's hard for you to ask. Young black men, because they brought up the other night about the draft. And it's hard to ask young black men to go over there and fight when they feel they're not getting justice right here at home in America where they paying their tax dollars. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, I ain't gonna say it's hard for them because they, they do. You know what I mean? Right. They ain't got no problem with the action. Right. Uh, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? For sensible people to think that we should go and do something like that, but we can't get justice here right at home, you know, people can kill us. I mean, right there, people can kill us, and it's okay. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. And they expect us to pray, pray for forgiveness for them and yeah. move on. Right. Yeah. Like, 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 a, like a Walking Dead, like the Walking Dead. You know. That's right. And, and maybe that's how they see us. I know yeah. Muhammad Ali fought this uh, fight back in the Vietnam. He wasn't a draft dodgy, conscientious, conscientious objective that I'm, uh-huh. not, I'm not going to fight with them. They didn't do it. Hell, he said, I might fight right here. I'm trying to get justice right here in America. All right. And now, 2020, we talking about the same thing. We still trying to get justice right here in America. And so, yeah, it's, and so they were talking about implementing the draft and because once again, the Iranian military is not like when they went to this and fought the Iraqi military. <laughs> the Iranian military is huge. Yes, sir. You know, they, 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 they got a formidable, uh, m- uh, military might. Yes, uh, sir. You know, uh, then, you know, now. All prices gonna go up. Gas going up. Uh-huh. You know. You know. It's just you know. I me personally, I guess folks didn't want to see it come to this. You know because a lot of people wasn't prepared. It mean uh-huh. when it hit domestically. You know when when the when the when the prices start going up and. You know, certain things start, you, just the trickle down effect start happening, you know, due to this. Hopefully, it won't be long. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it can go for about a week or so, you know? Hopefully, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hopefully, that can be something that they can do. But, you know, we got to see. Hopefully, hopefully so. Hopefully so, bro. You know? Um, yeah. How long? Uh, there is a. There is a uh, a principle of um, mercy mm-hmm. from the one who was really uh, over this whole thing. Right. And I mean, if we just can't get justice, the imbalances, the, the, the urges in the atmosphere is going to balance itself out. Right. You know. So if 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 man refuses to go by the law of justice. And he begs for, 
for, for the activity that he's involved in to remain, just bloodshed. But then he will drink his own blood. Yeah. Yeah. Digging his own grave. That that that's a universal law. It's a universal law, you know. Universal. You think you're doing something to somebody else, but you're actually doing it to yourself. To yourself. And and it's sad when the person that's in charge won't listen to reason. Or it's you, very sad. Or or no one can find a way to reach him where he could listen to reason. You know, the, the, the worst thing is you got innocent people. You know, you got innocent people that are affected by this. Well, who can speak his language to where he can understand? Man, I'm telling you, it, I would just say Putin. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it ain't. It's that. It's not. It's not about this dude, man. You know what I mean? Right, right. There you it's go. not about this dude. Come on. Yeah. This is supposed to be a land of the people, for the people, by the people. And if the people this is if this is what they choose, if they begging for a king like this. Right. Rather than allowing the God to be their king, then the God is gonna allow you a king. Mm. This is not even supposed to be a place where speaking Technically, is supposed to have a kingsmanship, right? It's supposed to be a democracy. That's right. But here, these people are walking in the footsteps of the old stiff-necked, rebellious Israelites right. that beg for a king, right? And so, okay, I'm gonna give you kings, what the God said, and the king take you straight to hell. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And that's and that's. Yeah. Right. that's that's right. Yeah, man, they, none of this is surprises, bro. It's we we all came up in Sunday school, man. That's right. You know, right. we all know the book. We read it. Here it is. That's right. We thought the God was lying. That's he right. wasn't lying. That's right. Here it is, man. I mean, we, we, it wasn't a history. It's not a history book. That's right. It's a book of prophecy. Right. And all you got to do is calculate the time and look around you and see what's going on. And you'll see what's being done. Right. You we walking on the pages right now. That's it. But if we we in everybody it's that Abraham syndrome where everybody trying to defeat prophecy. Well, can I can I find one that we could turn this thing around and, and then we walking right into it. You know, we seeing it, but we can't turn it. We in it. We in it, bro. We in it. I mean, we walking right on the pages. Is yeah, yeah. And they, and as you stated earlier, war than rumors of war. Then we right on the cusp of 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 I believe World War Three. And you know, World War Three is on again. Yeah. So that's what it is, what it is, brother. You know that this is this is this is this is the old Persian. This Persian. This Persian. It's Persian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you feel yeah, people think it's a game, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not a game. It, it, this is this is for real, bro. This is not for play. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There won't be nowhere to run and hide, man. I don't care who you are. Yeah. That's the whole point. You know, we're gonna have to break this thing down yeah. and even out the playing field. Yeah. Because I never intended for some human beings to stand up over the other ones. Especially if they're gonna be wicked, right? But Trump, Trump reminds me of of that little kid that was young, and and the kid cursing and fighting, and and the parents laughing, thinking it's cute, and but they got old and got too strong, they cursing them out and tearing up the house and running around and when you should have just like Trump, you should. Everybody was laughing at Trump, and when he was. Cousin folks out, and I grab a by the pee, and I do this, and they thought it was funny, and they joking, and right. now, now he done going to a monster, and you can't do nothing about it. They begging for a king, and the media then they want to turn around and dog the dude out, stomp on his name, but they made him. Yeah, that's right. They gave him all the airtime just because he was so entertaining. He was playing the game, played them all. He, he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
the whole way. I only saw one time, I believe it was the second or third debate, when Trump was like, the hell with this shit. They ate him up in that debate. They ate it. They, and that's just because he was like, you know, I ain't not even interested no more. Yeah. After that, man, before and after that, his foot been on the gas. Yeah. And the media been right there covering the whole thing. When you got other candidates that were talking reasonable, right. making sense, coming with policies and all that other stuff, you know, that, that, you know. That's right. But the whole time, the camera was on Trump. That's right. That's right. They were, he was fascinating. They, they were so fascinated with him. You know, that shiny object. Mm-hmm. And lived it. Bam, there. here we are. That's right. Yeah, now they want to talk down on him, talk bad, mm-hmm. you know. Well, you made him. You made him. You, you created this Frankenstein. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, right, well, for, for, for the listening audience, you know, Hey, be steadfast and uh, seek refuge in your God and keep rolling. Do what you do. Um, this is like 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 brother Marcus said. This is not this is not nothing new. We we just gonna be wars, rumors of wars. We done had wars. Wars been going on. Uh, now we back in time to where the Persian army is rising, uh, the American army is rising, and these two Goliaths getting ready to go at each other. That's what it Don't is. let your heart be in trouble. Just find peace. Man, you know? Definitely. Brother Mark, well, we appreciate having you on the show, man. Thank you for your time. Uh, yes, sir. You know, we, we hate to start uh, 2020 off like this, as I call it the year four in numerology. Uh, two and two is four. Square your actions, square your, your days, your times, your mind, your life. Build your strong foundation. This is ending into the year 2020, and, you know, we ended into it in a war, but, hey, it is what it is. Hey, yeah, out of darkness comes a light. In the beginning, it was nothing but darkness. Mm-hmm. We all come out of the darkness of the womb. When it gets darkest, that's when you know the light and the sun is about to rise. So look for your opportunities. There's always opportunities. In the darkness. Well said, bro. Well said. And a great, great segue to end this show, brother. Thanks for being on, brother Mark. Yes, sir. Peace, bro. Peace.